whatever, just like, you know, I know I have a, my history is kind of, you know, not so good, but I would like the chance to get out there and work on getting my kid back since I do not have very long, you know, I would like another chance. I believe I can do it. The last time I was on parole, I, success, I success, successfully completed it from January of 20, um, 2014 all the way to November. I completed it, completed it successfully, went to all my classes, did all my UAs, and met with him every time I was supposed to. And I know that if I got a chance to get out there and get on probation, I could do it. And I'm willing to do whatever, as long as I work on getting my kid back. Well, what about treatment, Ms. Navarro? Treatment, I did do a... I would like to go to treatment. I heard about that treatment in uh, St. Monica's in Nebraska and Lincoln. And I would like to do that too, even if it has the mommy program, even if I have to do six months, I'm willing to do whatever, as long as I work on getting my kids. We present the court with an interesting dilemma. Your record is not good. Ms. Bodarp has given me ample reasons why not to consider you for probation. However, given the fact that this is a class four felony, if you fail at probation, I can still bring you back and do everything that Ms. Potter just recommended. Given that you're 27 with an eighth grade education, you do have several felonies, including forgery and shoplifting. Your LSCMI in several areas is very concerning, and I would agree that you're a questionable candidate for probation. Or given your attitude, the fact that you've not had an opportunity at probation as an adult, that you appear to be in, demonstrate an attitude of change and a willingness to cooperate with probation, the court is going to find that you are a fit candidate at this time for probation. 